Hello, and thank you for taking the time to review this safety and occupational health training for emergency operations. We are hoping this provides an overview to help you deploy safer and make it home in the same condition that USA sent you out. My name is John Fentress, and I'm the National Program Manager for Safety and Occupational Health during civil emergency operations. I'd like to start by thanking you for doing what you do for USACE and helping get people back into their homes, back to work, kids back to school, and governments back online when the worst and sometimes the unexpected happens. I know from my own deployment experience, you don't do this for the money. It takes heart and a willingness to put yourself in uncomfortable environments for long periods of time. I think all of us who have deployed can honestly say you have not felt fatigue until you've worked 12 hours a day, day in and day out while deployed. Because of these factors, you put yourself at risk of being seriously injured or even killed if you aren't trained to pay attention to the hazards around you and know what risk controls are available to keep you and your team safe. So let's go over what our expectations are for this training. Understand what general hazards you will be exposed to and what you can do to keep yourself and those under your watch safe during an emergency event mission. Know what the occupational health requirements are to deploy and understand the medical screening process. Know what the safety requirements are for both government and contractors and where to find resources that will help you be successful. Understand the major safety issues associated with the debris reduction and removal mission, temporary roofing, temporary housing, and temporary power. Know what services your RFO safety office can provide you to help you be more successful. Safety is part of the USACE culture we live, think, and practice every day. USACE leadership embraces safety and empowers our personnel to act in the name of safety. Understanding that the work you do during an emergency event is more hazardous than most of our daily work will help you ensure that you do not place yourself or those on your team at risk. The work we do in emergency operations is vitally important, but it's not worth your life. 